Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 7 on sampling distributions. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about sampling distribution of the sample variance. Before this sampling distribution of sample variance, we have discussed about sampling distributions of sample mean and sample proportion and uh, we have seen that sampling distributions of sample mean and sample proportion follow a normal probability distribution. We know that sampling distribution of sample mean for the large samples is normal and sampling distribution of sample proportion is also normal with respect to certain conditions and sampling distribution of sample mean for small samples is following a t distribution. So, we are going to discuss that what about sampling distribution of sample variance which we denote by capital S square and uh, we know that if we have a random sample with observations x1, x2 up to xn then sample variance is given by s square equal to sigma xi minus mean of these observations whole square divided by n minus 1. So, these are called squared deviations of these observations from the sample mean. So, here uh, we are interested in the fact that sampling distribution of sample variance will follow which distribution. So, what is idea of sampling distribution of sample variance? Suppose we are having some population and uh, we are considering samples different random samples of the same size from this population. Suppose I am considering say n equal to 25 as sample size and I am considering say 15 samples of this fixed sample size. So, for this 15 samples I can calculate values of sample variances S1 square, S2 square, S3 square and up to say S15 square and if I write down the distribution of the sampling variances which we have obtained if I consider the probability distribution of this different sample variances then that probability distribution is called sampling distribution of the sample variance and uh, in that case this capital S square which is a uh, sample variance is going to be a random variable because it will have different values S1 square, S2 square, S15 square and the distribution of this random variable S square is called sampling distribution of sample variance. Now, if this underlying population or the population from which we are drawing samples is normal, then if the underlying population is normal, then if we define this quantity n minus 1 times s square divided by population variance. So, this quantity is going to be a chi square random variable. If the underlying population is normal with uh, mean mu and variance sigma square, then this random variable n minus 1 times capital S square divided by sigma square. This sigma square is population variance. This random variable is always a chi square random variable. Here small n is the sample size, sigma square is the value of population variance and this S square is a random variable. Therefore, this is also a random variable and it is chi square random variable with n minus 1 degrees of freedom. So, we will 
remember this fact that if we are considering a random sample of size n suppose observations are x1 x2 up to xn suppose this is a random sample of size n taken from the normal population whose mean is mu and variance is sigma square and if capital S square is the sample variance then this random variable n minus 1 times S square divided by sigma square is a chi square random variable with n minus 1 degrees of freedom where n is the sample size the probability distribution of this random variable n minus 1 times s square over sigma square is having a chi square distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom so the sampling distribution of the sample variance follows a chi square distribution if we are considering samples from normal distribution so we will remember this result let capital X1, capital X2 up to capital Xn be a random sample of size n from a normal distribution with parameters mu and sigma square. Then the random variable n minus 1 times capital S square over sigma square. This is going to be sigma xi minus x bar square over sigma square. Here we are using the definition of sample variance. We know that sample variance is given by sigma xi minus x bar square divided by n minus 1. Therefore, n minus 1 times s square can be replaced by this sum of square deviations. So, this random variable has a chi square probability distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom. That is n minus 1 times s square over sigma square follows a chi square distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom. So, we will remember that sampling distribution of the sample variance follows a chi square distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom and this will help us in the hypothesis testing for population variance. We are going to consider this quantity as test statistic for hypothesis testing for population variance. So, remember this that this quantity n minus 1 times s square over sigma square is a random variable and if the underlying population is normal this is a chi square probability distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom. So, this is all about this session. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.